What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, and after numerous requests over the past few weeks, we've got a highly anticipated review for you guys. We're going to be checking out the Razer Black Widow Elite Gaming Keyboard. I know, I know, I'm sorry to keep you waiting, but better late than never. So in this review, we're going to talk about the pros and cons, some of the features, all the things you're going to want to know if you're interested in picking up the Black Widow Elite. So first off, this definitely looks just like the previous Huntsman Elite keyboard. But I'll tell you right off the bat, it actually has more features in the Huntsman lineup for a cheaper price. So it's got your standard layout that you're probably used to with previous Razer keyboards. But like I said before, we have some welcoming changes. The body is made from quote, military grade metal, take that for what you will. But the construction here is identical to the previous Black Widow X Chroma keyboard that was released over two years ago in 2016. So a more rugged matte finish versus plastic is definitely a nice change. Taking a look around, on the top right side of the keyboard, we have one of my favorite features, dedicated multimedia keys. Then to the right of that, we have the return of the multifunctional digital dial. This thing is great. Um, stock out of the box, it's gonna be your standard like volume wheel. We could press it in to mute it and uh, quick little adjustments. But within their software, you can really change it up to launch programs or just you know key bind it to certain effects or programs. It's a really great little tool. Maybe you wanna scroll in and out of your desktop or up and down on a page. Use it for color correcting. That was an exclusive feature on the Huntsman Elite keyboard, so I'm really happy they brought that over here now to this one. And we also have two things that that keyboard did not have. And that's the return of a USB pass-through plus an audio pass-through for plugging in something like, you know, headphones. It's embedded right here on the left side of the keyboard. Again, the Huntsman Elite did not have that. So you can use this for plugging in like a flash drive or what I use it for is plugging in my mouse. So you can just plug in the mouse here so you don't have to route another cable on your desktop. And then again, same for headphones if you wanna plug them in here. Then flipping it over underneath, we do have five rubber pads to prevent it from sliding around on your desktop and a three-way cable gutter so you can kind of manage and route this really thick cable. Now this cable is very stiff and since it is so thick, it's not the easiest to route and like actually kind of annoying. <laughs> so you're gonna have to bend it quite a bit, which isn't too pleasant. You can route it out the top of your keyboard or the left or right side. But then we also have feet to elevate its backside with two different levels of height adjustment. Then above your arrow keys, you're gonna have some light indicators here for things like when your caps lock are on. You have your Razer gaming mode key, which will disable the Windows key, plus your onboard macro recorder, again, all indicated here. And function nine and 10 of the keys is gonna give you the macro recording and the gaming mode. Then also inside the box, they included detachable magnetic wrist rest. And I absolutely love how soft and cushiony this is. You can just slide it up right to the bottom of the keyboard where it's kind of slanted. It is gonna cover your Razer logo, so keep that in mind. Although we do have one now kind of embroidered into it on the middle, but a very comfortable wrist rest. Really happy they included this one again because uh, I actually use this with numerous keyboards and stuff. Razer's got it right here. So, so far out of the box, like the way it looks with that simple metal finish, you got the nice features and stuff with the multifunctional dial, USB pass-through, all that good stuff. And the one con we could take away from now that I'll mention right away is with those teeth and the gutters on the back for routing your cable. And since it is so thick, I only put it in like two or three times just for video purposes, you know, to get some B-roll of you guys or demonstration. You can already see the teeth in those gutters are kind of putting an indent and a mark into my cable. Not something I wanna see just for routing this two or three times. So moving on, while the Huntsman Elite had those exclusive purple Opto mechanical switches, they're now bringing it back to their usual lineup of Razer Green, Orange, and Yellow being available in this, with it being you know the smooth and linear ones, the silent switches, and the green being the very loud and clicky tactile ones that we're all used to. So in this unit here, we do have the green switches. I'll do a sound test now so you could hear how those sound. And as you may have heard, they added stabilizers now to the keys, like spacebar, shift, enter, backspace. They all have these loop stabilizers now, so it's not gonna be as rattly and loose. So it's nice we have the option from picking between the three different switch types from green, yellow, and orange. When you pop off a keycap, you will see the little RGB light shell embedded right above the switch. So now let's talk about the RGB lights. I'm not gonna spend too much time on it because it's 2018, odds are you've seen all the effects probably 700 times before in reviews from previous Razer keyboards and all that stuff. You're used to the effects. You can still do them here and it's gonna look nice and bright. The light shell they use here is definitely wider than that single light bulb they would use in previous keyboards. That's gonna result in just more light. 
But one thing you'll notice is there is no light strip around the backside or on the side or underneath because that was also one of the more premium features to the Huntsman Elite keyboard. So in the Black Widow Elite, you still have the RGB lighting effects, just not the underglow and the outer glow light strip that they had. Um, really not a big deal, I don't think. I wasn't too worried about it when I took it out and noticed that. So again, you're saving money still with this. So I've been gaming on this for around two weeks now. Like I said before, just very comfortable overall at that wrist rest and stuff. So it's been a great experience, but I have to admit at first I was like, who is this keyboard for? Like, where is its place? Because you have still the previous Black Widow keyboards I think hold up. You have the, the Huntsman Elite, the regular Huntsman. So I was kind of confused. But then once I saw it still had that multifunctional dial, you still have, you know, the onboard storage, the same pretty much features as you do with the Huntsman Elite, but plus the USB pass-through and the audio pass-through, that it got me thinking, who is the Huntsman Elite for? Yes, you have the optomechanical switches in the Huntsman Elite and they're quicker, but by like a fraction of a half a millisecond quicker. So really not a big deal in that. And seeing that keyboard was $200. And like I said, that got me thinking, who is that Huntsman Elite for? Because this is coming in at a cheaper price point of 169. And I'm just really impressed overall. And I mean, the only real con and knock that I can give to this is the fact that, like I said before, with the teeth kind of, you know, denting the cable already, that's pretty annoying. Not a huge deal, but do keep it in mind. And the second thing to bring up, that's not really a con, but more something just to be aware of. Since these new stabilizers in the keys are like lubed and oiled to make them smoother, um, if you get that on your fingers and then on the keys, it's gonna be very, very noticeable and hard to get off because the keys themselves are that nice, you know, kind of matte finish to them. Uh, so they're nice and smooth, but you're gonna get the oils from the lube and stuff on the keys and it's gonna be kind of an eyesore. Uh, it annoyed me, but again, it's only because I was filming and coming in contact with those regularly. So odds are that won't be happening to you. So besides those two things, I really love the Black Widow Elite to the point where I'm thinking this is gonna sell a lot more than the Huntsman Elite keyboard kind of making that irrelevant because this is cheaper. It has most of the same features, if not more, minus that light strip and those optomechanical switches. But I really like where this comes in in the market. And I think it is a great keyboard overall, which is very minor and a few complaints on my end. Um, so if you want to check it out, I know it's kind of in a weird spot on Amazon right now. I think they're out of stock, but for a future reference, if you're watching this in the future, hello, future man. I will put, wow, that's stupid. I will put the link for this in the description down below regardless. So you can check it out if you're interested. And if you just need a new gaming keyboard and you're thinking about this one, it is definitely a great option. Now to wrap it up guys, if you liked my review of the Razer Black Widow Elite gaming keyboard, let me know by hitting that big thumbs up button down below to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at randomfrankp. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed, have a good day.